Welcome back to another episode of Dallas Outdoors. Today's episode, we're diving out of Ford Pierce. That's our first spot. We just dropped a jug on there and hopefully we're gonna see some nice fish. Catch you guys in the water. What's going on y'all? Josh here. So this is my first dive of the day. Headed down to the bottom, not really knowing what to expect. And as you see, ton of Goliath grouper. When there's that many of them, it kind of destroys the spot. There's not really as many game fish as there would be without them so and as you can see there's probably about 30 of them if not more but the goal of today was to try and find some nice mangrove snapper mutton kubera anything like that and then hopefully bump into a, a black grouper here or there but this first spot really didn't have too much going for it just because of how bad the viz was and how many goliath grouper there were so we just kept moving Hey guys, Ben here. So this is my first dive of the day. Um, I'm checking out this really tall relief structure. I'm headed down to the bottom, just keeping my eyes peeled, seeing all snook, a bunch of just bait fish, and then I, a, uh, a big yellowtail catches my eye, like hanging out like on the bottom. So I slowly drift down onto him. Second he clears that structure, I take that shot, and then go straight to him because like Josh was saying, there's Goliath Cooper everywhere. And um, yeah, the last thing you want is having a fish flopping around and uh, not getting a hold of them because a Goliath grouper will come munch him. So we got him up to me, and then I went to take him over to the boat. And then uh, after I kind of held him up for the camera there, a shark came over to check me out for a little bit and was just keeping an eye on me. After I put the uh, the yellow tail in the boat, he kept kind of swirling around. I had a, a remora come up to me on his own, which usually means there's sharks around. So Remora came up, I was like, hmm, that's a little suspicious, and I turned around and next to you, there was a shark. So now we're a little bit farther. We're still anchored in the same area, but we had a nice float line behind the boat, so we could just hang on to that and hopefully find some nice fish as we're going down it. But as you see, doing my typical style of hunting, just laying on the bottom, looking around for some nice mangrove snapper or anything like that and as you see they'll just swim out of the top of this pile but these fish were really spooky at this area I'm not exactly sure why but I was hoping to get a shot off on one of them but I, I just didn't see any they wanted to be calm and give me a shot so looking around and still not seeing too much but head on up to the surface and Head right back down, try a different method on this this dive here. The viz was pretty bad and so was the current, so it was kind of hard to stay on the area. But I'm kind of just swimming up in the water column, hoping to find some nice ones above it, and I can just take a shot at them before they even get the chance to go in. And as you see here in a second, I spot a decent little school of them, smaller one right there, and then that bigger guy out in the back. So, kind of decided to take the shot on this one. He's about three pounds, three or four pounds, something like that. Not a bad mangrove. Definitely good eating fish. Obviously, make sure to get your fish before you head on up to the surface, just to make sure there's no sharks or you don't have to fight the current to get it. But my first fish of the day, not too bad. So this is Colin's drop here. He's headed towards the bottom. He spots a pretty decent school of mangroves. There weren't any giants, so he kind of went past them in hopes of seeing a little bit bigger one. But as you see, he's still going down and the viz is just getting a little bit worse and worse and he's not really seeing any game fish down there. So he kind of decides that there's not much going on down towards the bottom and he wants to take the shot on that that school that he saw up in the water column so as you see he turns to try to keep his his movements to a minimum and not spook him but that that school of mangroves is right there and he lines up it's a perfect shot lands a shot in both of them but unfortunately you saw the one that he shot first still in a nice mangrove So we moved spots and now we were at 
an area that we knew had mutton and stuff like that. But Colin's on his way down and spots one sitting off this little box over here. Goes to take the shot. And unfortunately, his shaft is a little bit bent from a previous trip and shot just over it. So didn't end up landing that fish. Hey guys, Ben again. So we went back to the area we were at the day before and had shot the black grouper there and some smaller muttons and stuff like that. And I'd messed up chances on big mutton. So I came back with muttons on my mind. Sure enough, my first drop, I have a uh, nice mutton stroll on right up to me is 20 some pound or 20 some inch mutton um, very nice size mutton um, and he just came right over usually they're not that silly so he was kind of just being dumb came right over me took a great holding shot right in the right in the uh, gill plate and then just made my way up to the surface i tried to secure him on the bottom but he was still pretty lively so it didn't quite work out but i managed to get a hold of him in the water column and then took him in. so i'm headed down to the bottom we had one zero mackerel that we shot and we were chumming it. As you can see, there's little pieces of it falling down. And there is a nice mutton snapper right there that you can see. He was, he was eating little chunks of it and stuff. And this ended up being my biggest mutton snapper of the trip. Landed a pretty good holding shot. And I couldn't tell if the shaft was fully through him. I knew it was a good shot. And right there I saw him turn and I could see it wasn't all the way through him. So I pushed him down to the sand. Make sure my shaft is all the way through them and get my hands on the actual fish before I head up and head on up to the surface with my biggest uh, mutton. Hey guys, Ben again. So after diving around, I'd seen some smaller muttons that I just kept holding off and I was looking for a big one. Um, I got down to the bottom. As you can see, I'm just got my head on a swivel. I'm looking all over keep my eye out because these muttons they're pretty ghost colored and in the silt they're hard to see so as you can see he's very hard to see hovering the bottom blends in really well with that like murk silt layer um, that sand layer in the background he goes to go behind this box so I go to close the distance and then he managed to turn around and go back out the other way um, I learned my lesson taking a far shot on a big one the other day so I tried to get as close as I could right as he turned took a, a good holding shot um, hit him dead in the middle of the body um, and then just kept tension on the fish. Um, muttons are very powerful. It's a snapper and they're a very tall, broad fish. So they have a lot of power. So I just kept pressure on them. I was able to keep them out of everything and uh, very nice mutton for me um, and my second one, I believe, of the day. So after that, we ended up switching spots again. Um, we went over like a big, uh, it's just like a big piling stack. Um, you see Kobe on these sometimes, you'll see uh, lots of snapper, occasionally grouper and stuff. So I went down, after shooting the muttons I was kind of looking for really anything. Um, just a good sized table fish and uh, kept seeing some better sized mangroves so I was kind of going down the side here and then sure enough I saw a better one kind of pop up above me since I was down on the bottom. He gave me a good quick shot took the shot and then uh, made sure to put pressure on the fish and get him out because there were goliath group on this number as well so after that that was my last fish of the day for me and uh took him on up to the boat and uh yeah great trip for us and another great fish for the cooler Alrighty, y'all just got back to the house just returned from the other coast ended up with two nine pound mangroves dead shot I think that one right there, biggest one of the trip. Ben got the next biggest, just like two ounces smaller. Bunch of nice other mangroves. Got a bunch of nice mutton and stuff. And a bunch of nice lobsters. Those both went four pounds. Great way to end the trip with those mutton there. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. And also, thank you so much for the support that you guys have given us. And we'll catch you in the next one.